Hi, I'm Randy Robinson. This is Life Today TV, and I have a pastor from Gateway Church in South Lake, Texas, a huge, fabulous, dynamic church, who has written a book called I Wish I Had Known. Tommy Briggs Sr. is here with me. Tommy, thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me. I want to show this book right here. All right. This is a good book. This talks about uh, things that you need to know and things that Tommy has learned throughout his life. And uh, he's going to talk about that on Life Today at lifetoday.org, so make sure you see that. But we're going to go a little deeper on, on one topic that caught my eye in your book. Um, and I want to talk about that in a second. But before we get there, tell me what prompted this book. What prompted this book? Um, there, are, there are a couple of reasons I wrote the book. One is that uh, I, don't, I do not have anything from uh, either of my grandfathers. And uh, I got to think, I have 10 grandchildren, and I really wanted to leave something for them. When they get to be my age, uh, they will have something in writing that uh, what I stood for and what I believed. Uh, the second reason is I don't know where America is going in terms of, of our moral climate. And I wanted to leave them something about what I believed and what I believed to be biblical truth hmm. so that they would have some point of reference in knowing their heritage and where they came from. Hmm. The chapter, uh, I wish I'd known faith is the key to my destiny. Yes. What do you mean by that? Um, most of my early life in ministry, I taught that to know Jesus as your Savior is to know Him in order to get a home in heaven and in, in eternity, and it certainly is that. But as I have journeyed through my life, I've discovered something about faith. Faith opens the door through Jesus Christ to God the Father who holds our destiny. And uh, faith then becomes the open door for you to discover your purpose mm -hmm. that God has you here. And it, it really satisfies the deep longing of your soul mm -hmm. to understand why you're here, what contribution you make, and uh, how to find fulfillment in life. Mm -hmm. And faith is a key to that. See, and it's not about being religious. It's about knowing uh, God the Father through Jesus Christ, who, who is the reason. He's the reason we're here. The Bible says so, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, in my latest book, I, I studied the word faith in the Greek. Mm -hmm. The interesting thing to me was that the, the word for faith in the Greek, which is a noun, is the same word for believe, which is the verb. Yes. So faith is what you believe. Yes. Right? Yes. And, and when we believe something, it affects our thoughts, our actions, our priorities, everything. So when I hear right. you saying that, that faith is not just the key to eternity, but it's it's the key to life now, yeah. I, I, I translate as that as it's because what you believe determines everything about you. Is that? Is that Absolutely. That's exactly what we're saying. Yeah. See, and, and as you've pointed out, faith, the word faith means to lean on, you know, lean toward, have a bentness toward. Yeah. And so when you discover that, when you discover your destiny, you lean toward that, you walk in that way, your behavior follows your heart. Yeah of what you really believe. And, and it's the key to life. It, it, it's, it's how to be successful. It's how to, how to find where you fit and what contribution you make. Mm -hmm. When you get to this point in life, at my age, uh, where, where I'm in the sunset of my life, you know, I know that, all things being equal, then you really begin to wonder about uh, what contribution have I made? You know, what, what, what will I leave when I leave this earth and go to be with the Lord? Mm -hmm. And see, what I'm saying is that if you can learn early that faith is a key, it opens up a door mm -hmm. for you and you discover your purpose, then there's a, a, a sort of a sitting down on the inside that happens. It's sort of a residence that comes into you that you... You, as you seek the will of the Father and the guidance of the Father, then you're able to know every day that you live, you're fulfilling part of that purpose and that destiny mm -hmm. because you're leaning on His guidance mm -hmm. and you're walking out what you truly believe. What do you say to people, whether it's your grandchildren, children, or just anyone in general, <clears throat> who says, um, 
Yeah, you know, I believe in God. I, yeah, I believe in Jesus, but it doesn't seem to impact their daily life. There's a great deal of difference between knowing it in your head and in your heart. And uh, most biblical knowledge, uh, when the word knowledge is used in Scripture, it is referring to a heart knowledge, the core of your being, the center of your being that you've committed. So uh, to say that you believe, I understand what you're saying, but until it gets out of your head into your heart and changes your life, your behavior will not change. Mm. See, head knowledge does not... Uh, the most uh, knowledgeable people that ever lived on the face of this earth, so far as I'm concerned, were the scribes and Pharisees and Sadducees of Jesus' day. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said to his disciples, unless your righteousness exceeds their righteousness, you will in no wise see my kingdom. And so it's not head knowledge mm -hmm. that the Lord was talking about. It's the commitment of the heart. Does it not start in the head? It starts in the head. <laughs> the head it has to come through your head to get to your heart, yeah, okay. of course. But if it stays in your head... So it's not just an awareness, it's a, it's a conviction. It's yeah. a lifestyle. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I said this publicly before, I'll say it now. S some of the meanest, pe meanest spirited people I know quote scripture. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, Satan quoted scripture, yeah, so absolutely. that shouldn't be a big surprise. Absolutely. <laughs> so it's, see, it's, it's a matter that they, they have it up here, mm -hmm. but it hasn't moved to their heart. Mm -hmm. Change a lot. Your book is a lot about your legacy. Yes. What do you want your legacy to be? Uh, I want my legacy to believe to be just what we've just talked about, that faith in the Lord Jesus Christ is indeed the key to life in its fullest possible, most ful fulfilling way. Mm -hmm. That when you know Christ, you get to know the Father and you understand your destiny and your purpose. And, and I want uh, my legacy to be that I stood for that. Mm -hmm. I stood for faith in the Lord Jesus Christ as a way of life. And the end result of that is a home in heaven. Hmm. How did you go from the head knowledge to the heart knowledge? In other words, it seems like maybe at some point something in your life triggered uh, a deeper walk, uh, a desire to, to know more. Was, is, is there something that, that did that or was it a series of things? Well, only God can change your heart, you see. But you, you do have the power of will to choose to open your heart for God to do a work in your heart mm -hmm. and to get it out of your head into your heart. And I believe any man, any person, anywhere that responds to the revelation of God that he has and, and he pushes in and pursues God, mm -hmm. that God will open his heart. Mm -hmm. good he wants stuff. it open. Good, real good, good stuff. Th <laughs> thank you so much for just sitting and talking and putting stuff in the book. If someone wants to get the book, where can they get it? On my website. <clears throat> and of course, through Gateway Church, where I'm, I'm on staff, and through their uh, bookstores and so forth. It's online and in, in, in the campus there. But my website is Senior. Great. Dot com. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Be sure to catch Tommy when he's on Life Today. If you did miss that program, it's online at lifetoday.org.